Hi there. I'm going to show you a little video of beautiful Dumaguete City. It really is. This is the boulevard area um, extension where it's being reclaimed, a lot of it. And, and that's what I want to talk about today just a little bit. Although it's beautiful, but in a way, the things that are happening behind it are not beautiful or good. Do the ends justify the means? That's really the big question because it's going to be beautiful. But yeah, that's the question. And I think to the, for that question to hold true, that's a moot question if there's no sacrifice. And there is a huge sacrifice. So that question only applies really to the people who used to live here. And this area is so nice. Actually, it's going to be really nice to look at. But you see in the distance right now these houses here and a fishing boat, which they can't use anymore. Uh, they can if they really want to struggle and go down over the wall you see this alley here I was looking for a friend who lived here but I got kind of confused because uh, he doesn't live there I found his house actually and another another road but you, previously you couldn't go there from the ocean side um, because it was ocean but now it's like this so you could just climb over the climb into their house I mean walk into their backyard basically uh, they can't go fishing and they can just have chickens. That's a lot of them look for alternative work and you know chickens and things like that. It's good, but it's not good for them. It's not good, and the ends definitely do not justify the means for them. They will be transferred to a place where it's probably worse off for them. They can't work, and um, they certainly can't fish if they go to another place. And six years ago or so, I was after a big storm. More than that, probably. But I was um, walking around in my back, in the in the back of, of my house, quite far actually from the house, and I saw people who had been relocated um, to that area where I was walking, and they were telling me, "Well, it's, they have no work livelihood. They couldn't do farming because the ground's not fertile, as well." So you see, this area, it's all illegal. I won't say the word illegal because. Um, YouTube might not like that word, uh, but I've just said it. Oh, I'm just kidding. So, you know, it's really the mayor is doing this without seeking the proper permits first. Uh, he's looking for them later, and there's no, there, there is no. He, he's a lawyer. He knows the right people. So there's not, there are no consequences to what he's doing. He can get off scot free with what he's doing, and you know, it is going to be beautiful. People will look at this and say this is beautiful, but the people who live there, that's the thing. This is a trouble, this is a problem with our life, our world today. Nothing is perfect, nothing is even good. You can see the stores here around the corner from this blue tent, they're stores. And people who have businesses there, and, and livelihood. And, uh, but it's all an extension from their place. They have businesses and stores already, they're just putting up extra stores and businesses the rich are getting richer and the the middle class is getting wealthier too they have opportunities but the poor what happens to the poor the fishermen they can't do any more fishing in fact finally some of the city people were saying there are no fish and I just talked to someone this morning as I was walking along and he said yeah there are fish I wish I had put him on camera but and he said yeah there are fish they're fish. Oh, obviously they were fish because they're fishing boats. People go fishing. That's their livelihood. They're fish. But the city and other people are saying there are no fish. And they even hired some, um, you know, this is for another project which actually failed. But they hired people. Um, instead of going directly to those who know, the environmentalists, the biologists at Silliman, they went and they hired some other biologists who could, they could easily manipulate to say that there are no coral reefs in the place. Anyway, my friends, that's it. God is good though. God is really good. Hey, would you like to help kids get a good education, go to school, be able to help their parents rise out of poverty, help themselves in the future rise out of poverty, get good jobs? Would you like to do that? Go to our website at kairoschildrens.fund. I will put the link right below the video. You'll be able to communicate with your child, help him, and, and get to know him well so that 
well, you'll feel good about what you're doing. Hey, God bless and thanks for watching and see you later.